Polish Minister Sikorski won't be surprised if Russia attacks Poland. A Russian attack would not come as a surprise to Poland, as the Russians have done this many times in Polish history, states Radoslav Sikorski, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Poland. Russia has attacked Poland many times over the 500 years of our history, so we would not be surprised at all. Russia would have lost because we, as the West, are much more powerful than Russia. Today, Ukraine is not fighting alone. Unlike what happened in the past, we will not fight alone, Sikorsky said. According to the Polish minister, today Poland has a choice, either a defeated Russian army outside Ukraine or a victorious Russian army on the border. And then Putin will do what Hitler did with Czechoslovakia. He will take the industry and people in Ukraine and mobilize them to continue. It is better to stop Putin in Ukraine, 500 to 700 kilometers east of here, he explained. This is not the first statement by Polish officials about the threat from Russia. For example, Polish President Andrzej Duda said that Russia could restore its military potential by 2026, after which Moscow could attack NATO. At the same time, Polish Minister Sikorski assured that a war with NATO would end in defeat for Russia. But according to the Polish Foreign Minister, the North Atlantic Alliance still needs to strengthen its defense. Last year, BILD published information based on secret NATO documents about the alliance preparing for a possible Russian invasion. As part of this preparation, various scenarios of confrontation with Russia were developed. Later, NATO's military committee chairman, Admiral Rob Bauer, said that the alliance needs transformation and the West must prepare for an era in which anything can happen at any time, including the outbreak of war. Meanwhile, Finnish president Alexander Stubb believes that the best way to avoid war is to talk less and prepare more. Tornadoes killed four people in Oklahoma, including an infant, and left thousands without power after a destructive outbreak of severe weather flattened buildings in the heart of one rural town and injured at least 100 people across the state, according to Associated Press. Significant damage was reported across the region, including in Marietta, where damage was reported to Marietta Hospital. Hospital patients took shelter during the extreme weather, and no injuries had been reported there. The storms also forced the closure of Interstate 35 North at the Texas state line because of overturned vehicles and power lines that were thrown across the roadway. The Chickasaw Nation was providing support for the storm response in Marietta. More than 20,000 people were still without electricity hours after tornadoes began late Saturday night. The destruction was extensive in Sulphur, a town of about 5,000 people, where a tornado crumpled many downtown buildings, tossed cars and buses and sheared the roofs off houses across a 15-block radius, about 30 people were injured in Sulphur, including some who were in a bar as the tornado struck. Hospitals across the state reported about 100 injuries, including people apparently cut or struck by debris, according to the Oklahoma Department of Emergency Management. The deadly weather in Oklahoma added to the dozens of reported tornadoes that have wreaked havoc in the nation's midsection since last Friday. Another death was reported Sunday in Iowa, where officials in Pottawatomie County said a man critically injured during a tornado had died. Go, 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 just hit something. Please go fast. All right, go north here. Yeah, go north here. Oh, he's gonna hit that building. Go up, pull up behind him. It's getting strong, really strong. Slow down, stop. Can you hear it? Mm -hmm. Look at that, look how beautiful that is. It is Haley. It's gonna hit something. Look how fast it's. Yeah. He's gonna hit the. Oh, it's gonna hit that barn. Oh, boy. Look at that. Look at that roof flying in the air. It's just insulation.
Whole trees in the air. Whole trees.